Hi, I'm Jim Miller, and I'm here with Steve Mullen. Steve's the uh, owner of Night Rider, the twin cafe re racer that we've got here. Uh, Steve, tell me uh, what, what year and model did you start out with here? Jim, what we've got here is a 1994 FX DL, a Dyna Rider, which has undergone some serious transformation from the day it was picked up from the dealership. You know, you've been uh, tweaking at this bike ever since I have uh, I think I've known you. You've uh, won some horsepower shootouts, I believe, too. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, Jim, uh, this bike has produced up to 122 horsepower. Several years in a row uh, at the Tampa Harley-Davidson, their dyno shootout, this bike was undefeated there for a couple of years as an 80 cubic inch bike. And you've, uh, you've even had some luck over in Daytona at Bike Week, I believe. Uh, can you tell me about that? Well, a couple of years ago, we went over to the All Harley Drag Racing Association, the HDRA, their Bike Week Nationals. This bike won the Screaming Eagle Performance Class against a whole gaggle of other bikes, including Sportsters and everything else. So that was a lot of fun winning that. This bike has also done land speed racing, and it ha currently holds two land speed records. All right, let's take a look at some of the bike's details. Well, Jim, what we have here is a custom-built fuel injection system. There were no suitable performance fuel injection systems available for Harley Davidson's. So, I decided to build my own. That includes casting a custom intake manifold large enough to supply the amount of air that this engine is going to require. We're using fuel injectors from a Ford Lightning supercharged truck to make sure we get enough fuel into this engine. We've got custom electronics, and we've mounted all of this on the dyno frame. This is purely a performance-oriented system, but it produces some excellent results. What we have here is a fairly routine-looking engine, but if you start looking closely, the first thing you'll notice is that we have a set of Screaming Eagle heads on this bike. These started life as Screaming Eagle heads right from your Harley-Davidson dealership. Underneath this, we're sitting on top of a set of STD cases, because of the horsepower and the RPMs that this engine is turning, so you don't want case failure. We also have a custom ground 660 lift cam with a little over 280 degrees of duration. This is the type of stuff that is required when you want to set land speed records and you want to have a winning drag race bike. Okay, you'll notice on the exhaust system right here is that we've got the pipes that are wrapped. So this is an asbestos wrapping. This is intended to keep the heat inside the exhaust pipes. Keeps exhaust velocity high. For you guys that are serious performance enthusiasts, you'll know that velocities, high velocities, help maintain horsepower. And this keeps the heat inside the pipe, keeps the temperature up on the exhaust, adds the velocity coming out. The transmission in this bike is a stock Harley transmission with the exception of first gear. We've added the 294 gears from Andrews. This is a taller first gear, which prevents me from having to shift very, very quickly. We're using a Barnett Scorpion clutch. This clutch is required to hold down the 130 to 140 horsepower that this engine is producing. We're also using an SNS oil pump. Oil, maintaining oil pressure and proper oil flow through a 7,000 RPM engine is very, very critical. We've also added an SNS nose cone that brings the leverage point in closer to the engine. Okay, you'll notice there on the dash, in the center of the dash, what we have is the primary information box about the fuel injection system. With this, I can actually program the amount of fuel that goes into fuel injection, but it also lets me know what the engine temperature is, what the RPMs are, how much fuel is going into the bike at any point in time, uh, what the air temperature is, and what the engine vacuum is. This is actually a programming unit. You'll also notice off to the left right here is with this little red knob. With this red knob, I can actually very rapidly increase or decrease the amount of fuel that the engine gets. Just below, you'll notice that I've got a little digital data logger. This allows me to capture data when I'm racing at the drag strip or when we're out on the land speed racing courses. This allows me to capture RPMs, speed, position on the track, and acceleration in Gs. I've got a Dyna shift light 
which I set the RPMs that I want the shift light to come on and off to the left you'll see a little yellow light and that goes on to tell me that I'm about to blow the motor up. <laughs> Just above the EFI programmer I have an air fuel mixture indicator. This will actually give me what the air fuel mixture is at any point in time. This is hooked to an oxygen sensor that's in my exhaust system and it gives me the actual air fuel mixture readout as a percentage of air and fuel. Okay, here we're going to show you a little bit about the fuel system because the fuel system on a fuel injection system is just a little different than it is on your carburetor. You notice right here, it said we have the petcock, but there's no on-off valve on it. I've got two hoses that go into this petcock. One is an output that actually follow it along to the front, and you'll see I've got a high-pressure fuel pump here. This high-pressure fuel pump actually drives the fuel injectors that are in the throttle body, and then the fuel is returned back through the second hose and actually comes back into the petcock. So you've got a system that draws the fuel through, pumps into, hits the fuel, in, fuel injectors, maintains a very high pressure there, uh, almost uh, 42 pounds per square inch, and then the excess pressure is returned back into the tank. Well, thanks for that look around the bike, Steve. It looks like there's only one thing that we have left to do, and that's to take this baby for a little spin. What do you think? Sounds like a good idea to me, Jim. Let's go put my leathers on, and we'll be ready to go. All right. Join us. Thank <laughs> you.